What's going on guys, my name is Ayan and welcome to something a bit on the different side. This would, uh, well, this would satisfy a nerd I suppose. Let me adjust this. What's going on guys, my name is Ayan and welcome to something a little bit different. Today, I decided that since my internet is being a butthole and, uh, it's my ISP's fault. I've tried everything I can here, so I have no internet today, and I actually checked it on my phone. All the internet in my area is out. Today I figured I would go ahead and bring you guys a small little update. As you may recall, if you watched my uh, rig update 2016, I said that there would be a part two. Three days after that, Amazon decided to email me and say, we're sorry, but we can't ship out your order. So there goes the custom cables that I ordered and the lights that I ordered. So I said, Okay, no big deal. Well, I think I'm going to order cables from Newegg this time in hopes that they actually will ship out. But as you see in front of me, I've got this old LED strip on a piece of board, an X-Acto knife, whatever the crap this thing is, the power supply and the LED controller and receiver box. What am I going to do today? Well, I'm going to show you guys how to put custom LED lighting in your PC without worrying about Amazon not shipping out your stuff. So, let's get into it. Alright, so as you can tell here in front of me, right here on my LED strip, uh, I actually cut it slightly uneven. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take this X-Acto knife that I had lying around, and uh, I'm going to cut this to make it a little bit straighter. So let me go ahead and zoom in on that so you guys can see it. Make sure it's in frame. So you're pretty much just going to want to take it. I can show you better. So you can see that I cut it a little bit off. Now you can see this little black line right here that has scissors on it. That's where you're supposed to cut it. Well, our scissors are absolute crap and that doesn't actually work. So I'm just going to cut this real quick with the X-Acto knife. Line up the end of your X-Acto knife with that little black line and just move it back and forth a little bit. And as sharp as this one is, oh my god, should it should come right off. If you end up cutting your hands, I'm not responsible for it. All right, so now that you have it cut, hopefully more straight and across the lines, be sure to put the cap back on your X-Acto knife. So now this end of the wire is ready. This end of the wire is actually about a foot and a half to two feet long. You can't see it all because I've got it on this board here. Why do I have this board here? Well, if you look closely at the end where you plug in the uh, wall adapter, you can see, come on focus, Come on. You can see right here along the top that there is solder points. We have to make sure we line these solder points up correctly in order to be able to get the solder to work on this guy. So let's see if we can. So first thing to do would be to take note of where the wires are. So as you can see, for some unknown reason, let's see if we can get it in focus here. Come on. You can see that my plus sign, or my positive wire, is black, my blue wire is green, my green wire is red, and my red wire is blue. Yes, those are backwards. Don't ask me why, because I really, really don't know. You're going to want to make sure to line this up the same way, otherwise it's not going to work the way you want it to. So now that we've got this set and we know which colors are where, we can see that we have plus BGR, plus BGR on this one. So now here we have two options. We can either A cut the wires right here where my finger is. So, actually I can use the exacto blade to show you what I'm talking about. We can either cut the wires about right here and put on new solder, or we can try to save this existing solder and bring it over to this bit of wire. So what I'm gonna do is because I don't trust the solder that's on here because this was actually the strip of LEDs that was behind my desk. I used to have them back there behind my monitors and stuff, and for some reason the blue LED stopped working. That's where I got this from. This exact two foot length right here is actually from another strip that I've got across my room on the back wall. If you've ever seen me stream, well, you know what I'm talking about. It's just a blue glowing light behind me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut these wires around about here. I'll make a little mark. I have. I have bent the blade of the X-Acto knife. Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this here, and I'm going to have to restrip the wires. So let me grab that tool real quick. Now I'm going to take a whack of this right above my thumb 
So I've got my trusty wire cutter stripper things right here, which uh, if yours are anything like mine, they're from a Rosewell toolkit. You hear that? Here, here. That's not my hands rubbing up against the grips. That's just the badness of the fact that they haven't been oiled properly. What we're gonna do is we're going to take this wire cutting bit, line it up with where we wanna cut, so around about here, and just squeeze it. And that'll break them all loose and we'll have loose ends like this. And this little piece with the LED on it, if you want a single LED, well there you go, just toss it in my paint. My monitor's just changed and it scared the crap out of me. Now you're left with this. Now hopefully these are four loose wires and we're gonna hope that they're loose for the fact that you need to use the stripper gauge down here on the bottom of the stripper. I really think a stripper gauge would mean like how many times a stripper's been used. Now that all these wires are actually split apart, like so, you can see that they're they're all free. They're all independent. You're gonna wanna find which hole you need on your wire strippers. So for me, that is 0.75 down here at the bottom. Okay, so a little bit of a problem. These wire strippers, the 0.75 right here, isn't actually the size of my wire. So as you can see, it didn't pull the ends off of any of them. I was trying to cut the blue one. You can see where it did grab, however, if this camera would freaking focus. You can see right there where it did, in fact, grab. So, I guess you could say we're back to the cutting board. Let's hope I don't slice my hand open with an X-Acto knife. Let's go ahead and zoom out just a wee bit. There we go. So now you can see what I'm doing. So I guess now that I've got this, I'm gonna to try to get all three at the same time. So I'm just gonna cut along one side a little bit until you feel like a, uh, a grinding feeling almost. It's a feeling of metal rubbing against metal. So I'm gonna put it in the hole that I need with my line and just give it a pull. And sure enough, there you go. If you can, come on camera, focus on me. Here we go. You can see that we've got bare wire right there. So now that you've got that off, one thing I always like to do is give the wire a little twist just to make sure you don't end up with a fanned out set of wires coming out of the sleeving. There you go. Should look something roundabout like that. And now you can move on to the other three wires. Now keep in mind, you don't want a lot of wire showing because you don't want them to touch when they're sitting on the LED strip itself because that's what happened to the ones behind my desk and it ended up frying the blue LED. Oh, geez. This is why you wear gloves. Holy crap. So check this out. Let's see if I can get it to focus in. You see this little spot right here? That's what I just did. Be safe with razor blades, kids. And when it's all said and done, you should have four wires that look around about like that. Okay, so now comes the fun part. You need to make sure you have some solder and Soldering iron, preferably one that's better than this because again, this is from the Rosewell Toolkit. Just a disclaimer here, I am not an expert or a pro when it comes to soldering. So uh, if you wanna learn how to solder correctly, search that on YouTube. There's millions upon millions of videos. I just haven't taken the time to watch them. I would just like to point out here before we start that my soldering iron is indeed having a very, very good time with us. Fun fact, your soldering iron gets very hot. Don't stick it to your tongue. So now that we've got everything ready and the soldering iron is heating up, we're gonna get, wanna go ahead and make sure we remember what wires go to what. Which should be fairly simple because as long as you remember where the positive wire goes, all the rest should follow suit. Behold my awful, awful soldering job. Actually, the positive wire itself came out pretty nice. The other, the other three, uh, yeah, I'm not proud of that. But anyways, they are all soldered, and that thing over there, the soldering iron, has been taken care of. So let's plug it up and see if it works. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth. <laughs> yes. Will the blue work? Just the blue works. The green is red and green, so is the red. But just the blue works, and the blue is what I was after. Well then. Let's finish this bad boy up and go ahead and put it in the PC that you see down there. Or the light, the, you see the light here. I saw the light. Okay, so apparently nobody in my house owns electrical tape. Huh, <sighs> time to run to the store.
love cars. Well, I found electrical tape. 140, 120 feet of it. Not bad. Well, it seems that my uh, how-to videos kind of turned into a vlog, so we may as well go get some food while we're out, huh? There are a lot of people out for a Tuesday afternoon. Oh my God. All right, cheeseburger on the way. All right, so I'm back home. I've got my electrical tape and I uh, got a drink. Totally not sponsored. Actually, I'm not. I just, they should sponsor me as much as I eat their crap. How uh, the most useful vlog ever. All right, so as you can see, all I really needed the electrical tape for was to cover these contact points so they don't stick out like a sore thumb. So now, just put them in the PC that's over there that you can't really see. So here we go down here. You can just barely see the LEDs and this is the effect that I wanted. If you look closely though, you'll be able to see that I can change it to a white color. Go blue, green, or red. So everything's working. Everything's exactly where I want it to be and I just wanted the subtle glow to help with everything. So yeah, then I got all these lights and my monitors to go along with it. So, yeah, we did it, surprisingly. By the way, if you ever want to buy electrical tape, don't go to a place called Fred's because their crap sucks. That is the worst tape I've ever used in my life. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. It's a baby goat. Anyone want one? Because I am ready to get rid of them because they have done that all day nonstop. I kid you not. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to let me know down in the comments below because I kind of enjoy doing this kind of stuff. I mean, it's not much, but it's fun. It satisfies my inner nerd, I suppose. So yeah, if you're new here, hi, welcome to the channel. Usually I play games, but today I decided to get a wild hair and do something live. See, it's live. I can touch my head. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Really? Really, game? Right, and we're back to the grid map. Because that other map was being a butthole and kept spawning me in the middle of things. You know, when in doubt, you just... You just gotta go Iron Man on it. I'm making a snow angel! That looks slightly painful. Will it do the loop? Oh yes, it did. It didn't come out alive though. Don't worry Iron Man, I'll save you. This can't be good.